Great day everyone! Today, we are going to talk about accounting. But first of all, sit back, relax, and watch this video for you to have a learning about accounting. What is accounting? According to Tugaset Al 2016, accounting has three generally accepted definitions. 1. Accounting is the process of identifying, measuring, and communication economic information to permit informed judgment and decisions by users of the information. 2. Accounting is the art of recording, classifying, and summarizing in a significant manner and in terms of money, transactions, and events which are in part at least of a financial character and interpreting the results thereof. 3. Accounting is a service activity. Its functions is to provide quantitative information, primarily financial in nature, about economic entities that is intended to be useful in making economic decision. The another definition of accounting according to WeGod Accounting is the process of identifying, recording, and communicating economic events of an organization to interested users. Now, what is the nature of accounting? Accounting is a process with the basic purpose of providing information about economic activities that is intended to be useful in making economic decisions. Now, what are the types of information provided by accounting? Let's start with number one, which is the quantitative information. It is information expressed in numbers, quantities, or units. Two, qualitative information. Information expressed in words or descriptive form. Qualitative information is found in the notes to financial statements as well as on the face of the other components of financial statements. And the last one is the financial information, information expressed in money. Financial information is also quantitative information because monetary amounts are normally expressed in numbers. The various definitions and explanations of accounting has been propounded by different accounting experts from time to time and the following aspects promise the nature of accounting. Accounting as a service activity Accounting is a service activity. Its function is to provide quantitative information, primarily financial in nature, about economic entities that is intended to be useful in making economic decisions and in making reasoned choices among alternative courses of action. It means that accounting collects financial information for the various users for taking decisions and tackling business issues. Accounting in itself cannot create wealth though. If it produces information which is useful to others, it may assist in wealth creation and maintenance. Accounting as a profession. Accounting is very much a profession. A profession is a career that involves acquiring a specialized formal education before rendering any service. Accounting is a systematized body of knowledge developed with the development of trade and business over the past century. Accounting as a social force. In early days, accounting was only to serve the interests of the owners. Under the changing business environment, the discipline of accounting and the accountant both have to watch and protect the interests of other people who are directly or indirectly linked with the operation of modern business. The society is composed of people such as customer, shareholders, creditors, and investors. The accounting information or data is to be used to solve the problems of the public at large such as determination and controlling of prices. Therefore, safeguarding of public interest can better be facilitated with the help of proper, adequate, and reliable accounting information and as a result of it, the society at large is benefited. Accounting as a language 
Accounting is rightly referred to the language of business. It is one means of reporting and communicating information about a business. As one has to learn a new language to converse and communicate, so also accounting is to be learned and practiced to communicate business events. A language and accounting have common features as regards rules and symbols. Both are based and propounded on fundamental rules and symbols. In language, these are known as grammatical rules, and in accounting, these are termed as accounting rules. The expression, exhibition, and presentation of accounting data such as a numerals and words and debits and credits are accepted as symbols which are unique to the discipline of accounting. Accounting is science or art. Science is a systematized body of knowledge. It establishes a relationship of cause and effect in the various related phenomena. It is also based on some fundamental principles. Accounting has its own principles, the double entry system, which explains that every transaction has two folds aspect. In example, debit and credit. It is also lays down rules of journalizing. So we can say that accounting is a science. Art requires a perfect knowledge, interest, and experience to do a work efficiently. Art also teaches us how to do work in the best possible way by making the best use of the available resources. Accounting is an art as it also requires knowledge, interest, and experience to maintain the books of accounts in a systematic manner. Everybody cannot become a good accountant. It can be concluded from the above discussion that accounting is an art as well as a science. Accounting as an information system. Accounting discipline will be the most useful one in the acquisition of all business knowledge in the near future. You will realize that people will be constantly exposed to accounting information in their everyday life. Accounting information serves both profit-seeking business and non-profit organizations. The accounting system of a profit-seeking organization is an information system designed to provide relevant financial information on the resources of a business and the effect of their use. Information is a relevant and valuable if the decision makers can use it to evaluate the financial consequences of various alternatives. What is bookkeeping and accounting? Although bookkeeping function is part of accounting, bookkeeping and accounting are not the same. While on the other hand, accounting covers the whole process of identifying, recording, and communicating information to interested users. After we tackle all the possible definition of accounting, why not we discover the history of accounting? History of Accounting Accounting is as old as civilization itself. It has evolved in response to various social and economic needs of men. Accounting started as a simple recording of repetitive exchanges. The history of accounting is often seen as indistinguishable from the history of finance and businesses. The following is the evolution of accounting. The Cradle Civilization around 3600 BC. Record keeping was already common from Mesopotamia, China, and India to Central and South America. The oldest evidence of this practice was the clay tablet of Mesopotamia which dealt with commercial transactions at the time such as listing of accounts receivable and accounts payable. 14th Century Double Entry Bookkeeping the most important event in accounting history is generally considered to be the dissemination of double-entry bookkeeping by Luca Pacioli, the father of accounting in 14th century Italy. Pacioli was much revered in his day and was a friend and contemporary of Leonardo da Vinci. The Italians of the 14th to 16th centuries are widely acknowledged as the fathers of of modern accounting and were the first to commonly use Arabic numerals rather than Roman for tracking business accounts. 
Luca Pacioli wrote Summa de Arithmetica, the first book published that contained a detailed chapter on double entry bookkeeping. French Revolution 70s, the thorough study of accounting and development of accounting theory began during this period. Social upheavals affecting government, finances, laws, customs, and business had greatly influenced the development of accounting. The Industrial Revolution, 1760 to 1830, mass production and the great importance of fixed assets were given attention during this period. 19th century, the beginnings of modern accounting in Europe and America. The modern formal accounting profession emerged in Scotland in 1854 when Queen Victoria granted a royal charter to the Institute of Accountants in Glasgow, creating the profession of the chartered accountant. In the late 18s, chartered accountants from Scotland and Britain came to the U.S. to audit British investments. Some of these accountants stayed in the U.S. setting up accounting practices and becoming the origins of several U.S. accounting firms. The first National U.S. Accounting Society was set up in 1887. The American Association of Public Accountants is the forerunner to the current American Institute of Certified Public Accountants. In this period, rapid changes in accounting practice and reports were made. Accounting standards to be observed by accounting professionals were promulgated. Notable practices such as mergers, acquisitions, and growth of the multinational corporations were developed. A merger is when one company takes over all the operations of another business entity, resulting in the dissolution of another business. Businesses expanded by acquiring other companies. These types of transactions have challenged accounting professionals to develop new standards that will address accounting issues related to the business combinations. The present, the development of modern accounting standards and commerce. The accounting profession is the 20th century developed around state requirements for financial statement audits. Beyond the industry's self-regulation, the government also sets accounting standards through laws and agencies such as the Securities and Exchange Commission. As economics worldwide continued to globalize, accounting regulatory bodies required accounting practitioners to observe international accounting standards. This is to ensure transparency and reliability and to obtain greater confidence in accounting information used by global investors. Nowadays, investors seek investment opportunities all over the world. To remain competitive, businesses everywhere feel the need to operate globally. The trend now for accounting professionals is to observe one single set of global accounting standards in order to have greater transparency and comparability of financial data across borders. Now, what are the two users of accounting information? The two users of accounting information are internal and external users. Internal users. Internal users of accounting information are those individuals inside the company who plan, organize, and run the business. These users are directly involved in managing and operating the business. These include marketing managers, production supervisors, finance directors, company officers, and owners of the company. External users. External users are individuals and organizations inside a company who want financial information about the company. These users are not directly involved in managing and operating the business. For example, potential investors, lenders, vendors, customers, legal, and tax authorities. Counting Psycho Accounting cycle represents the steps or procedures used to record transactions and prepare financial statements. Steps of accounting cycle Transactions Journalizing Posting Unadjusted child balance Adjusting entries Adjusted child balance Financial statements preparation Closing the books 
post-closing trial balance. And the last is recording revising entries, but it is optional. Types of accounting Financial accounting Governmental accounting Public accounting Cost accounting Forensic accounting Management accounting Financial accounting refers to the processes used to generate interim and annual financial statements. Governmental accounting the recording and management of financial activities of governments at commonwealth, state, and local levels. Cost accounting. Just as managerial accounting helps businesses make decisions about management, cost accounting helps businesses make decisions about costing. Forensic accounting is the specialty practice area of accounting that investigates whether firms engage in financial reporting misconduct. Management accounting encompasses many facets of accounting including product costing, budgeting, forecasting, and various financial analysis. Tax accounting Financial accountants often use one set of rules to report the financial position of a company. Tax accountants often use a different set of rules. These rules are set at the federal, state, or local level based on what return is being filed. The father of accounting, Luca Patioli. Luca Patioli was an Italian mathematician who published the influential book of Summa in 1494 giving a summary of all the mathematics known at that time. Accounting Concepts and Principles Accounting is considered the language of business. In order for business entities to determine their financial performance, accounting is needed. There are different forms of business entities according to its organization and operations. A business can be organized as a sole proprietorship a partnership or corporation. What are the accounting concepts? Accounting concepts are the guidelines or rules to be followed while recording the data for accounting purposes. They may also be called postulates which are to be followed during accounting processes. What are the accounting principles? Accounting principles are the rules and guidelines that companies must follow when reporting financial data. The Financial Accounting Standards Board, or FASB, issues a standardized set of accounting principles in the U.S. referred to as accounting principles. The accounting equation is the foundation of the double-entry accounting system. Based on this double entry system, the accounting equation ensures that the balance sheet remains balanced, and each entry made on the debit side should have a corresponding. The equation serves as the backbone of the entire accounting cycle. All the steps that go with the accounting cycle should abide by this equation. Furthermore, all the processes in an accounting system must observe the equality of the accounting equation, which is basically an algebraic equation. The basic accounting equation is shown below. Assets are a company's resources, things the company owns. This includes anything owned or possessed by the business which is capable of being expressed in terms of money or possessing monetary values and which consequently is available for the payment of the debt of the business. In short, asset represents the resources of the business. Liabilities are the economic obligations payable to an individual or an organization outside of the business. These obligations are the result from past events and can require the business to give up resources when settling them. Equity This represents the claim of an owner of the business over the assets of the business after the claims of the creditors have been satisfied. In short, it is simply by asset minus liabilities. Other terms for equity are owner's equity, capital, net assets, and net worth. Revenue or income. 
It is a business earns from selling its goods and services or the money an individual receives in compensation for his or her labor, services, or investments. It is also increases in economic benefits during the period in the forms of increases in assets or decreases in liabilities that result in increases in equity, excluding those relating to investments by the business owner. Expenses in accounting is the money spent or cost incurred by a business in their efforts to generate revenues. It is also considered as the decrease in economic benefits during the period in the form of decreases in assets or increases in liabilities that results in decreases in equity, excluding those relating to distribution to the business owner.